you might have noticed that humans like to emphasize the differences between us. But the differences we can see and the differences we can't see are pretty inconsequential because we're all members of the same species, Homo sapiens. However, scientists can look at big differences to determine whether or not two animals or two plants are the same species or different. Some animals have a huge range of differences in how they look within the species, but they're still the same species, like our friends Canis lupus familiaris. This isn't always the case. Some living species that look almost identical are actually very different, like crocodiles and alligators. So if we look at the many species of hominids or extinct human ancestral species that existed, say over the past six million years, things can get complicated because we don't have the full picture at our fingertips. And many of these species are thought to look very similar. The story of human evolution has literally been pieced together by paleoanthropologists, geologists, and archaeologists, who usually find scattered artifacts, like bones and stones, and have to estimate when, how, and where they came about. There are in reality only a few theories that the scientific community generally agrees upon. Ancestral hominids walked upright around 6 million years ago, before we started making tools, evolving larger brains, or making fire, which only happened millions of years later. Periods of climactic variation created situations in which ancestral hominids could only survive if they had the behavioral flexibility to survive changing environments. This was pretty important for determining which species survived and which didn't. There were a lot of different species that existed at the same time and in the same places in and out of Africa. We can only estimate when migrations of ancestral species happened and to what extent they are more or less related to modern humans. Modern human behavior like language, symbolic representation, ornamentation, and the production of art were thought to emerge only around 50,000 years ago. So every piece of information that we dig up out of the ground will help us complete the puzzle. Maybe you should become a paleoanthropologist. Go find the next Lucy yourself.